Okay, here I am for episode 4 and I'm bringing you some new hope. I noticed something in between videos. Last time I tried to expand the formatting and I didn't succeed. But I noticed when I was just doing this, see that little green, green little L in the corner? I thought, I wonder what happens if I grab that. And in fact what happens is, I expand the area that's formatted. So that's quite a good little trick to know. I'm sure there's another way to do it, but I'm just quite pleased with that. So, what we're going to look at in this video is sorting, because this is one of the really powerful functions of Excel, and something that's really handy. You'd be amazed by how often you'll use this. So, I'm going to select um, the information in my table, and I'm going up to Data, and it says Sort. So, you can actually sort by a number of different levels, but for now I'm just going to sort by one. So, it gives me the names from column A. So, also actually from the headers. So I can sort, sort by title, year of release, running time, budget in millions, box office in millions, or order in the Star Wars universe. And it asks me how I want to sort it. Now obviously, um, it's going to sort numbers differently than it is um, letters, but let's look at those individually. So first of all, I'm going to sort them by the order in the Star Wars universe. I store them in terms of what the value is in the cell. I could sort them by colour and stuff, I'm not sure why I would. And I'm going to go smallest to largest, and then I hit OK. So now we have reordered, not only is this in order, up here we're number one, but it's kept its row intact, so Phantom Menace is now the first. But what I could say is, well, I'd like them ordered, I don't know, let's have a bit of a play with this, shall we? So go back up to data, and say, OK, I in fact want them filtered by... The year of release first, actually this is a bit tricky because these are all made in different years because they're films. But let's say that some of them were made in the same year. I could sort by the year of release first, and then I could add a level and say, and then by their movie title. So it's from the smallest year to the largest, and then by movie title. Now what you can see here is just that it's sorted by year because there are no two in the same year. But let's say you were sorting data where it was all the same information in one column or lots of repeats, you can sort by multiple criteria. You can do that alphabetically or you can do it from number, smallest to largest, really powerful, have a go.